When I first launched my coaching company a few years ago, I made a really big mistake. And in the beginning, that mistake was I was giving my coaching to people uh, without them having to pay up front because I thought that's what I needed to do. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about the four main reasons why you should never give away your coaching or your training for free, even if it's a trial. Even if it's an introduction to your stuff, it's a terrible idea, it devalues you. I'm gonna share why in this video. So going back a few years, I launched a coaching and training company and we used to sell just online courses that were low ticket, they weren't very expensive, we had thousands of customers go through that and we shifted our business model a few years ago to focus on high ticket coaching, working with clients that were at a certain level that needed a certain level of service uh, from us and of course we're charging premium prices and I remember seeing so much information and advice in the industry for people that are just starting out selling coaching. And the advice was, give your stuff away for free in the beginning to A, gain experience, to B, get some uh, success stories from those clients so that then when you go out and start charging, you've got this bit of momentum. So in the very beginning, I actually, I guess I would say I tested that strategy and I had a really good sounding client, I remember who it was, and um, everything sounded good, it sounded like they would be a really good testimonial for me, that we would get them a great result and we could use their story and they were happy for us to do that. Um, and so I decided to uh, just help them for free. I didn't charge them. We went through this process of the next few months being very frustrating because they didn't value the coaching, I now realize. They didn't value my time. Um, they weren't putting in the work and it was because they didn't, uh, well, ultimately they just didn't value the coaching, right? We, we value what we pay for. And because there was no payment, there was no transaction, it was almost like I was doing them a favor, which was really weird because it's the other way around. I'm gonna help you with something that's gonna absolutely transform your life. But here I am feeling like I'm doing you a favor, I'm chasing you. And I learned from that moment that that's a really terrible idea. I don't think you should start any coaching or training by giving away your stuff for free. You can start with discounts, you can start slightly cheaper, but you should never just do it for free. I then had another scenario a little bit later on uh, when we did start charging for our coaching where a client was very fearful, really nervous to get in the program, wanted to do it, wanted my help, wanted my team's help, um, but just the cost to get in was just, it was so big, it was so huge that it was just, they were riddled you know, with fear. And I made a decision on the spot to give them a trial into the program. I said, look, how about this? I know what I've got is absolutely amazing and you're gonna love it. So why don't we do this? I will let you into the program for 30 days. You can come in, have a look around, see what we're about, watch some of the training, jump on some of the coaching calls. And once you've seen that we really are what we're saying we are, then we can get you signed up and you can make your payment. Of course, they were over the moon, they were excited about that, so they jumped at the opportunity and they came into the program, the 30 days went by, they didn't do anything, they didn't make any moves, they didn't implement anything, they didn't go through any of the training, they didn't jump on the coaching calls, and so of course 30 days went by, and so we said, hey, so now is our time to actually officially get you signed up, and they ghosted us, cold feet, didn't hear from them again. Same situation, just set up slightly differently. They didn't pay, so therefore they didn't, inv they didn't have an, any skin in the game, and so they didn't put in the work. And it led to, again, losing a client. The third scenario that I can think of for where I've given away some of my best high-ticket premium training for free, and it not being a good experience, is where sometimes on platforms like this here on YouTube, but also in very, very low-ticket and even free programs that we've put out before, I could teach some of my best stuff. Like think about this, imagine if I threw a two day event and I actually taught the same stuff that I teach in my $15,000 coaching and I taught it over two days. The attendees at the two day event would not value it nearly as much as the people that paid me 15,000 for it. It's just the way it is. And so I remember doing some events where I was teaching some phenomenal stuff, like it's my premium level content, but the results in the sense that the people that were there that went on to perhaps use my information and get a great result was very low. The success rate was very low and the only thing I can put it down to, same information, but because they didn't pay, because they didn't feel the pinch of the investment, they didn't do the work. 
And so it's a disservice to me and it's also a disservice to them because they didn't realize that they had the keys to the kingdom right there in front of them. So let's move on to the four reasons why you should not give your stuff for free, even if you are so sure it's gonna to lead to a client later on down the line. First reason is that you are attracting the wrong type of clients. The people that come to you that don't go all in, that, that wanna have a plan B, that are not burning the boats and giving this everything, um, they're not usually your ideal client. And that's gonna frustrate some people. Maybe you're watching this right now and you feel like I'm talking to you because you've been in that situation with my company at some point. It is unfortunately just the way it is. You want to be the type of client you're trying to attract. I make decisions quickly. I invest in my education. I find coaches and mentors. I respect my coaches and mentors. And so people that come to me and ask for a handout or ask for a discount or ask for a trial to come in, look around. Listen, I get it. Some people have had a bad experience with coaching in the past and that's the reason that they're nervous to go again. I understand that but that's a smaller group. There's a bigger group that are asking for that and it's just because quite simply, they're not the right client and they're not gonna put in the work and get the result. The second reason is you're giving people a crutch. You're actually giving them a reason, something they can lean on for, for not getting results. So someone comes into the program and does a 30 day trial, I've literally given them a crutch where they're like, well, I'm not really paying for it, so I don't really have to prioritize this. If other things come up in my life that could take my time away, then I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead of working with John in the program because, well, I didn't feel the pinch of coming in. So you're giving them this crutch and you're, you're, absolutely, you're actually allowing them and encouraging them to procrastinate and not work through the program and get the result. When someone does invest with you and spends money on your premium service, they do feel the pinch of it. And especially if you have no money back guarantee, which we don't suggest you do, because again, that's another crutch. If they're in, and once they're in, they have to be all in and they've got to make this work. Those are the students that get the best results. The third reason is that you are significantly devaluing yourself and what you bring to the marketplace as well. You know, there's stuff we talk about in sales where when it gets to the moment in, the, in a phone conversation where they're asking you the price and you give the price of your coaching, that's a very important moment for you to stand your ground and, and deliver it in a confident way. So when you say your price, you should be saying it's $10,000 and pausing and waiting to see what they say. But oftentimes we want to fill that awkward silence and so we start rambling and then we start justifying the price and, then we, and all of that stuff is, is you know, showing that you're not confident in your price point, that you're not confident in what you deliver and you're starting to devalue what you're offering them in that moment. Same thing with offering discounts or giving your stuff for free, you're devaluing yourself. You want to have your price, you want to stick to that price and you want to find your dream clients that understand your value and will pay you your fee. And trust me, they're out there by the way, they're going to be the minority, they're not going to be the majority, but there really are going to be some people out there that will pay you top tier premium prices for what it is that you have in your head right now. And the fourth reason is that it's easier to scale the business, right? If we're forever just chopping and changing our price points and doing one thing for one client, another thing for another client and doing a price over here and doing a different price over there and giving it for free over here and trying to chase that person to get their payment in, that is what we call mess and it is difficult to scale mess. If you want a business that scales and if you want a business that gets some great results, you want to have one price for every client that you never change, one set of deliverables that never changes with a little bit of tailoring for each client once they're in. But the more you can keep things really uh, you know, clear and clean and the setup is exactly the same for every client, that's something that you can put the correct systems in place to actually be able to scale that business. If you are in the high ticket space and you're selling coaching and training at a premium price point, you're gonna to wanna to check out this video right here. This is the perfect sales funnel for selling high ticket programs. You're gonna absolutely love that. Don't forget to like this video. Uh, it really encourages us. It shows that we, you're enjoying this content so we know what to make more of. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're putting out new content every single week.